so, so, you, so you got all week to, to focus a little bit on Colorado. I know you were doing some recruiting stuff earlier this week, but um, you know, what, to, what, what are you guys doing to take advantage of this time? Well, we're, we're not doing a whole lot to, I mean, preparation. We had good practice Monday, Tuesday, and uh, taking Wednesday off, doing some film work, and then n normal prep two days prior to the Saturday game. Our guys, uh, you know, it's always interesting because it's it's a little bit of a catch-22 as far as whether you're going to, you know, continue. you gotta you got to continue conditioning, so we had a pretty good scrimmage situation yesterday and got guys good and tired and compete and um, you know you, you can't take too much time off you obviously can't grind them and I think we've had a nice balance for the last couple months of trying to find that balance and, I, and I'm convinced we'll be able to do the same you know we've got to we got to be ready for a physical presence from Colorado big rebounding team really good three-point shooting team um, you know and they're playing really well right now so uh, I don't think defining it as taking advantage of the time or anything like that it's still very much of a grind and you know we've got one more home game before we head to Vegas and we're not going to change our mindset you know at this point uh, of really doing anything different than what we've tried to do all year you'll get a lot of senior questions today I'll start with Jordan how would you describe his career no, it's it's pretty cool the the entire process with these seniors, and we've got five guys that are going to be, um, you know, honored on Saturday, and um, it's amazing how fast four four years flies by, and um, you know, a guy that's that's done a real nice job, played an awful lot of minutes for us, is up over fifteen hundred points in his career, and. Um, has developed, I think, not only on the basketball court, but he's also, you know, matured as a as a young man. And part of the description when we recruited all these kids is, you know, certain things that we we promised them was was that they would reach their potential on the court, and then we'd also help them, you know, get ready for life, um, you know, off the court. And I think Jordan's done a great job in the classroom and. Um, you know, just matured and watching that process. He's doing a great job defensively for us now, too, and, and bringing some leadership to the table. So um, going to be a rough, a rough day Saturday. But he's one of those kids that, uh, that bought into wanting to be a part of it from the beginning. You know, it's basically kind of parallels the growth of our program. And I would describe him as a program guy. Uh, the coach I played for at Montana used to talk about that. You bring a program guy in that, um, you know, not only does a great job on the court, but is able to teach some of the young kids and pass the baton down to them. And if you get enough of those program guys at one time, uh, you don't necessarily put it on autopilot as a head coach, but you certainly trust some of the maturity and the fact that those guys have been around and, and can kind of teach the young kids, this is how we do it around here. And, uh, that's that's made me real proud is that we've had a, a number of those program guys that are here and they're about to to uh, finish up their senior season. So a uh, little bit bittersweet. So I wonder if you expand a little bit on the, the seniors you're saying goodbye to. I guess, would you say all three of the guys that are playing are program guys, Brandon, Dakari, and Jordan? Yeah, and I, I would take it another step with Jeremy, you know, as well. Um, He's one of the, he's one of the young men I'll always remember. You know when when things weren't necessarily rosy around here, and he was on his mission, and there was a lot of talk, um, you know, negativity, uh, you know, and and him believing he was one of those guys I think that that put Utah ahead of everything, put the university ahead of everything, and trusted the process that the coaching and the people within the university system and, and his coaching staff were going to be able to lead him in the right direction. And so when he came back, it wasn't a wavering situation at all. He, um, at that point, was into this school and mentioned that a number of times and still at this point, even though he hasn't played, um, you know, he's been supportive. Of, I think he's been at just about every practice if not every practice traveled with us, provided leadership, 
and is a, is the definition of a program guy, you know, a team guy. Even though maybe it's not being shown in production on the court, he's he's bringing value in a number of ways. So he's looped in with those with the Kari and Brandon and Jordan as those guys, and it's it's a little bit symbolic, I think, when you're building most buildings. It's got four corners, and uh, and there there's those four guys um, holding up the corners. I think when we talk about building a a foundation for a program and, and establishing those program guys. They'll always be, you know, pretty solid uh, members of, 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 our, of our program. And um, Jakob, it's likely his last home game too. Is you guys planning on putting him in there with the seniors for the last game? Or? No, I, I, that's not part of the process. Um, you know, it's a, it's a senior night and, um, you know, I, I think it's safe to make the, the – uh, the assumption that he may not be around, but it kind of crosses the line, I think, when you, you know, it's new territory for me, uh, but we were, there's still a lot of meat on the bone, you know, um, even for our seniors. And so we're going to make it short and sweet. And I think, uh, you know, celebration, the, the presentations, those types of things, uh, really far less important than maybe what they all stand for and, and what they're trying to accomplish. So I don't think any of us are really into the glitz and the glamour and the, and the show and the hoopla in, involving it. It's, it's necessary, and I think everybody understands that. But, but getting the W is far more important. And then getting off after this game uh, to Vegas and then trying to do some damage uh, without giving too much thought to, to who may or may not be around next year about finishing the deal this year.